morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> it's good to chat with you. It's good to chat with you too. Um, tell me a little bit about your character first. Uh, well, I play uh, the role of Chuck. He's he's um, he's a hockey player. He, he was the rich kid in town, and you know, once everything kind of falls apart in this town, pretty late, he he uh, kind of finds it upon himself to take charge and take control. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, he he it's kind of his the product of his environment growing up is that you know he his father owns so much of the town that he's just like, well, I have to keep on the family legacy and and try to keep everyone safe. You know, for a character like this, you know, coming in from the outside, when I, you know, read everything about it so far, it sounds a little like there's a little Lord of the Flies going on. Absolutely, like a Lord of the Flies kind of Children of the Corn almost. It's right. The, it's these, the, yeah, these these young adults who, you know, by no fault of their own, have, have this huge responsibility thrust upon them to to stay alive and survive together. But I mean, the most dangerous thing in this situation is themselves in a way is right. where they you know you know there's bashing heads there's tribes there's all these all these levels of of you know no rules you know and and there's and with that comes drama right. essentially you know <laughs> the essential drama the even. essential drama yeah. and do you feel like you know after playing through the season do you how how much do you think uh, your character would actually respond uh, differently say if this was uh, you know I guess a different a different environment how much does the environment play a part in how they're acting I think, together uh, yeah I think it, uh, the environment plays a major part in this is that you know um, this sh this show is different because um, you know we, we I mean, we've been shooting in small towns around the city but it, I mean it takes place in a small town right. and with the small towns that everybody knows each other hmm. and everybody you know you know, you might go to high school with a with a guy that later on you're butting heads with, or you know, vice versa, or, or whatever. But you know, that environment plays a huge backdrop on, on the drama of the show, is because it's that feeling of solitude, almost like nowhere to go. Right. So with that, you know, these kids are stuck. What do you think, personally, if you were stuck in this situation? What do you think you would do? What role do you oh, think you'd play? Yeah, you know, I would be a follower. I would be like, you guys figure it out. <laughs> I'm going to try to survive. Do you have a skill that you would be using I get all the bags of now? chips <laughs> right, you know, from the grocery store. I'm going to hang out over here and you let me know what, you're, what you figure out. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I would, you know, Chuck and I are different in, in so many ways. You know, Chuck is constantly trying to take control. and nice. he's, he's, he's trying to be a leader and he means well. But, but with that, you know... And with with the show is that you know there are decisions that are made that might not work and and you know he's still learning mm -hmm. and so for me you know I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> How I mean you know dealing with the emotional side of this for the characters mm -hmm. it's really interesting to think of the fact of moving on after losing basically your entire family. Absolutely. What you know how much does that play part in the story throughout the season? Oh, it it, it does very much so. I mean. Um, all these characters have, at this point now, experienced loss, hmm. and you know, loss that has come too soon, and and has come in such a way that that these kids, like these these even these these children that are around that are like eight years old, nine years old, you know, they now they don't have mommy and daddy around, right. and now so it's it's that what happens next? What do we do? Hmm. And then otherwise, how much more can you tell us? I mean, what? What, what's going know. on with with There's the whole like virus? I mean, is there, it? I don't know. You I don't know. Have no idea. You know, I'm <laughs> trying to still figure it out for myself. You know, it, it's um, you know, I can say that it's very exciting, and it's you know, all these characters go through such a journey, and you know, for me, I couldn't take my eyes off the script when I read it. So it's it's everyone's in for a real treat. Well, that is the other question. So, what drew you to this? Uh, was it was a challenge. Particular? Yeah, it was a challenge. I mean, you know, I, I find that one thing that that really sucks me into to material is, is you know where the challenge is and, and how far this character is away from me. And he's, you know, I'm, I'm there's that level of me trying to find similarities in myself to be able to do this. But I mean, it's it was just, you know, it was just a perfect example of kids and tribes, you know, butting heads with each other. And there's a nerd factor in there that I love. It kind of, you know, reminds me of, like, The Walking Dead and stuff, shows like that. But, 
with the character itself. It was just reading his his whole journey. Um, really, really drew me to it. Hmm. 